On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up the girls collection, Strong Girls One Piece figurine J4. Well, that's all the English on it. Scott vs. Box! This is Japanese Girls Collection Volume 2 figurine thing. Now, in case you don't know, I opened up one of these already. Series 1. Um... And uh, there's an annotation if you'd like to check that out. The other one was a little bit more disturbing than what this one appears to be. Series 2, I guess, is classing it up a little bit. Uh, but series, uh, this is The Strong Girls. And there's a little uh, nautical wheel in the O. This is all very, very weird. But again, my friend who didn't want to be named wanted me to open this on the show. Ban Presto is the company and One Piece, I guess, are the two company names. And... Oh, boy. Uh, call that number. That is a phone number. Holy crap, there's a little phone next to it. I've made a joke about that before, and I didn't realize it. This, I, somebody call this number if it's, uh, feasible. If you live in Japan, I think call this number. That's the best way to do it. If you live in America, do not call this number. That is not okay. 04-7146-1101. Or Skype them? I don't know, can you do that? For use as prize in Japan only. Made in China. Wow, this has all kinds of mixed signals here. Um, this is not being used as a prize here. This is being used as a, uh, a study of cultures. One Piece, yes. Uh, there's a little hat with some roses and a smiley face with the tongue sticking out. Leaves as ears. Girls Collection Volume 2. All oh, that writing. I don't know what it says. And it's all warnings. Because these things are cursed. Cursed, I tells ya. All right. We're going to open it up and see the weirdness that is Japanese Girls Collection Volume 2, The Strong Girls. Yeah, let's open it up. It's everything in there. Oh, more numbers. What do these numbers mean? 010207. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's the inspector. All right. So, right here, we've got, um, what is this? Let me take it out of here because the plastic's making it all shiny with the lights in here. All uh, right. Some sort of backdrop because the other one had that as well. Uh, this one is, all right, a, a guy with gigantic Popeye forearms and hands with a tube on his back and a, a bandolier of bullets. Somebody else with a hat on the back of their neck, just sort of bowing and praying, and as is this guy, wearing green, and then there's a ghost kite with big old racist lips. I don't, I don't understand. I'm so confused. This is, yeah, it's behind her, but what is it? It doesn't make any sense. This hurts my brain. I don't get it. Oh, boy, there's weird stuff in here. All right, okay, let's open it up. Let's just get it all out there. Let's just get in trouble with all this weirdo, weirdo stuff. If you got weird stuff and you don't know me personally and you want to send it to me, there's the address below if you have something you want me to unbox on this show because clearly I'm willing to do it. And make an episode dedicated to you. Okay, so there's all the plastic junk off to the side. So then there's something in here. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Yeah, you need one of these things. <laughs> you know, the old devil horn uh, dodgeball top heads. Yep. The old yamaka devil dodgeball death heads. And then, um... Ah, yeah. Uh, she's not... She doesn't have a hand. Yep, they, they cut her hand off, and then she's holding a, a, a stick or a lollipop sword. I'm not sure. This is all so, so weird. There's no instructions. There's nothing that explains anything. Why would there be? That one on her head as a crown. So, okay. So, she's here. So, she's got pink hair. It's all in pigtails. Her eyes are just demonic. Her eyes are super freaky. She's got a crown, which is more like a king crown. and It's got a cross on top of it. And she's got... Maybe sort of roller skate boots. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna attach her hand because I feel weird if it's not on there. It needs to be on there. Why isn't her hand on there? Uh, I don't know how it goes. This is weird. It doesn't even seem like an angle of what it's meant to be. What is this? What is this? Japanese people, if you're watching, what is this? What have you made? Oh, her hand is her arm. Oh no. Oh no! Her arm. 
it broke. It broke so easily. I didn't even mean to break it. I just moved it because I was trying to put her hand. I'm so sorry. Don't breathe. Oh, God. Somebody call the hospital. Maybe that's, oh, maybe that's what this number is. Oh, that's the hospital. 04-7146110. Oh, she's bleeding out. Uh, oh, these are the pegs for her shoes. Uh, everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get you in there. It's not like Toy Story. It's not real. No, no, no. She's she's not alive. She's not missing an arm. Everything's fine. This goes here. Yep, that's what that does. And then this goes here. Uh-huh. You're fine. You are gonna live. Uh, there's your stuff. Okay, Japanese Ghost Collection Volume 2. Everything's fine. Nothing happened! So wraps up another exciting unboxing video. But wait, there's more. Subscribe to Scott vs. Box by clicking right up here so you never miss out on another Scott vs. Box video. And send me something to this address right over here and I'll give you a free plug on my show. And if you want to see even more toy unboxings, click right over here and you'll see all kinds of stuff like cars, Star Wars, Moshi Monsters, you know, all the stuff that the babes dig. What's up, babe? I got toys. Oh.